Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. I have been letting this Caesar Easy Subly Glow in the Dark HTV sit outside on my patio for hours and hours in the sun in preparation for this tutorial. This is what the package looks like, and according to the package, you have to charge it up before it's ready for uh, glow in the dark. So without further ado, let's head on over and look at all the materials you will need in order to create a design that is glow in the dark and, re and get ready for Halloween. The materials that I'm using for this tutorial, for this project, I'm using um, Caesar Easy Weed in red, just for the heart. I'm using Caesar Easy Weed Glow in the Dark HTV. I did let this sit outside in the sun for about two hours to get it ready because it says um okay it says it is a white htv that looks great in the daylight and glows in the dark glow cuts and weeds just like our popular easy weed to get the glow effect charge the material by exposing it to sunlight the longer you charge the material the longer and brighter it glows so i literally set this outside on my patio for hours on Saturday. I am using a Gildan 100% um, cotton shirt that I purchased from Walmart. It's actually heavy cotton. And I'll be using my Cricut Standard Grip Green Mat. I'll be connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. And I will be um, using my Starcraft Clamshell 15 by 15 heat press. Okay, and it is set at 305 degrees and I will press the shirt I'll press the design on the shirt for 15 seconds so the file that I'm using will be coming from this bundle and design bundles as you can see I've already purchased it I paid two dollars for this um, bundle and it comes with 70 SVG um, designs for Halloween the file that I am going to use for this tutorial is the one that looks like this uh, with the the skeleton, the ribs, and the, the baby, but I'm not going to use the baby part. Okay, and now let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space, and I am connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. Um, I've already downloaded the file. Now I will upload the file into Cricut Design Space. So I'll click Upload. And this is the file that I'll be using for this tutorial. I'll click insert. Okay, so when the file comes in, it does come in pretty big and that's okay. Remember in the tutorial where I showed you how to use design space or when I showed you design space tips and tricks, I showed you how to minimize the view on your screen. If you're not sure about what I'm talking about, I will leave a link to that tutorial down in the description below. Okay, um, so let me kind of manipulate this file and I'm using the word manipulate because I'm not going to use this file just the way that it is. Um, I can tell that this is a layered file. Okay, that means that I have multiple layers over here over to the right. Okay, and I am going to ungroup this because I don't want to use the um, the baby the little baby skeleton is is cute but i don't need it so i am going to delete that okay and all of that all right i don't need any of that all right and for this part of the file now i do want this to be grouped and i am going to put this back here and i'm actually going to change the color of the heart to um black to match um the rest of the skeleton because the vinyl that I'm using is the Caesar glow in the dark um, HTV and I actually want all of it to be the same color um, because I don't have red glow in the dark vinyl and um, what I am going to do though is create an outline that will go on top of the red heart so let me show you what I mean by that I am going to take just the heart. I'm just going to click on the heart piece of it. And I am going to, let me take this, actually, I'm going to take this out. And I am going to ungroup this. Okay. And I just want to move the heart part of it. Let me put this back over here 
and so it can stay in place. The heart part of this, I am going to um, make this a little bit smaller and then I will do an offset over it. But let me see what it looks like. All right. I think I like it like that. Um, if I just wanted to add a little bit of color to the heart, I could do that. Um, I can keep this part of the heart with the, gl the glow in the dark and use um, red HTV on the, the outer part of it just so it can have an edge to it. And I think that's what I will do. Okay, but I'll keep this over here separated for now because I know I want that to be cut separately. All right, the rest of this, um, I can go ahead and group it. I can actually attach it because I want it to all cut together. And I'm ready to, oh, let me check my size. Okay, so right now it's showing that it's 9.6 inches wide by 10 inches um, in height. And actually that is a little bit um, too big for what I want to use this for. So I am not going to um, make it this size. I think the when I checked the sizing, I wanted it to be um, nine inches tall. I'm using a, a medium shirt. So I'm going to have nine inches tall by eight. That's, that's the appropriate size. Okay, so let me check this and see how that will fit in there. All right, that is perfect. Alrighty, now I'm ready to click make it. Okay, I am going to get my vinyl loaded, my HTV loaded on my mat. Okay, and it's telling me that I need two mats because, you know, this is going to be red and the rest of this is going to be the glow in the dark HTV. But because I don't need to use two mats, I can just move this to this to this mat and i um, going to confirm it and I know that this part needs to be um, a different color so I can just move it down here to the bottom and I can also move this over here um, to the side and I know that I need to cut these out these two pieces out separately and I'll just need to make sure that when I put my vinyl on my mat that I am placing it um, to be lined up where these are. It doesn't really matter if I mirror this or not, but I'm going to mirror it because I'm using HTV. And whenever you're using HTV, which is also heat transfer vinyl, you want to make sure that you mirror it. I will go ahead and get my vinyl placed on my mat and I will let my, um, I'm going to choose, I'm waiting for my machine to come up. I'm connected to my Cricut Explorer Air 2. I'm connected via Bluetooth. Um, okay. Make sure mirror is turned on and um, iron on material is face or shiny side down. Okay, I'll make sure mine is set like that and then I will get it cut out. Okay, I'm going to give my shirt a little bit of heat um, just for a few seconds before I put the design on, don't skip this step. If you are using any kind of HTV or any kind of fabric, hopefully my phone doesn't. Okay, just a few seconds. I have my temperature set to 305. Okay. And I will place my design on my shirt. All right, and I am going to use a sheet of good old parchment paper. Okay, I am using my Starcraft 15 by 15 clam shell heat press. I still love my other heat press. I still love it. I don't dislike it. I just didn't have enough space for it. Ooh, I can see it glowing already.
Okay, I'm going to press it for um, 15 seconds. Okay, I can just take it off from here. And now I am going to just tap the heart on. I'll just fit it right in right there. That's so cute. OMG. It's already cute. OMG. Let me see. This is the final. Let me turn this heat press off because I'm finished with it. And let me zoom in so you can see it and see how cute it is. Look how cute this is. Now, the final test is going to be whether or not it glows in the dark. We shall see. Okay, so hopefully you were able to follow along with my process. This is the final product. And hopefully you'll be able to make a shirt just like this. And as you get ready for it, let me turn tuck it in. As you get ready for Halloween, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. I do have a Facebook group. It is called Cricut Crafting with Delanda. We would love for you to join us over there. It is a very safe space for beginners to share work, to ask questions, to um you know just post their comments um don't forget if you are trying to join our group that you do have to answer all of the questions and the um, admission into the group is pretty much automatic all right thank you so much for joining me today i am going to clap two times and hopefully when i finish doing that you'll be able to see the glow in the dark effect on this shirt thanks so much for joining me today and thanks for watching bye Ta-da!